Hi guys, I am in Woodland Caribou Provincial Park in Northern Ontario. I'm on a canoe trip and uh, I find myself in the middle of a giant forest fire that occurred here about three years ago. The shoreline looks like a moonscape. There's tons of rock here. Uh, all the trees appear to be dead. Um, and quite frankly, it looks like a nuclear bomb went off. Uh, but not true, not true at all. It's not a disaster. This is a natural occurring thing. And if you look around, you'll see that the forest is renewing itself. So let's, uh, let's look around here. I'll show you what I see and let's talk boreal forest fire ecology. In 2016, a forest fire over 100,000 hectares in size burned through the southern portion of Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. That fire consumed most of the forest except for a few green patches here and there. Let's begin this discussion near our campsite, which is one of those green patches. I apologize for the wind. It'll go away soon. Todd and I are camped here on this nice little island, one of the few green patches around. Um, the trees here are mostly alive but a fire did roll here just the same. Let me show you. The trees here are younger than the surrounding forest and therefore less susceptible to a crown fire. When the fire moved through here, it was primarily on the surface of the ground. So here we are in a spot where the fire rolled through here. Um, it was a lower intensity fire. It, uh, the fire is what you call a ground fire. Everything on the, on the ground burned, but the fire didn't ladder up into the canopy of the trees. Um, everywhere you look, you find charcoal, uh, just evidence that the fire was, was here. And if you look at this tree here, there's uh, charring up the bark up to about this point, which indicates that it was a ground fire, it didn't go up any higher. Um, and this tree is alive, it's still alive. A few of these trees have died, the fire has actually uh, thinned out the stand a little bit, but uh, many of these trees are still alive. So if you look at the forest floor after a fire like this, you'll find some vegetation coming back. Again, this is three years after a fire. You're starting to see some fireweed and some uh, blueberries coming back up, um, but not a, lot of, uh, not a lot of vegetation is emerging. I was curious how old these trees were at the time of the fire, so I cut a section from a dead tree, counted the rings. Uh, these trees at the time of the fire were 24 years of age. Not very old trees, and uh, they don't have a lot of Cones. These are jack pine cones. Jack pine cones are what you call serotonous. So uh, they only open up with intense heat. These ones, even after the fire, are still closed. Um, some of the branches lower down show uh, that the cones have opened up. So any branches that were close to the fire, their cones opened up, dropped some seed. But you can see that um, nothing's really regenerating here. There's no young trees. Let's go check out another stand. So I'm in another spot now. This is a different island where the timber um, at the time of the fire three years ago was much older and much larger. If you look behind me, you see a snag. Uh, it's probably 30 or uh, 35 feet in the air and it's got charcoal all the way up it, indicating that the fire climbed into the trees around here and uh, likely caused a crown fire as opposed to a ground fire. This is a fire that is up in the crowns of the trees, moving from tree to tree and uh, a very hot fire likely releasing those serotonous cones of the jack pine. So over here is a jack pine that has burned. Um, you don't see a lot of charcoal at the top but what you do see is that a lot of the fine fuels, a lot of the twigs and cones of that of that canopy are gone. So uh, it's very likely that that caught fire. As well around it you see some of these spruce trees uh, right there with a little little bushy tip. Uh, looks like that burned as well as well as the one right over my head. So it looks like the fire went through here um, as a crown fire. So when you look on the forest floor around here, what do you find? A lot more vegetation than the other site. This has uh, some currants. Smells really good actually. Um, there's some birch behind me here. I don't know if you can see it. A lot more shrubs uh, growing here just because the site is more open. There's more light on the forest floor. And you also find evidence of cones opening up. Here's a cluster of jack pine cones that were burnt, probably fell out of the canopy. Um, those cones are all open, they would have shed their seeds. And we're also finding lots of spruce cones that uh, some have burned as well, but they're open as well, they've dropped their seed. If we look around we should find some young jack pine and uh, black spruce. 
I'm always amazed at the amount of cones you find on the forest floor after a fire. A tremendous amount of seed hits the forest floor, but not all of the seed survives the heat of the fire. So here we are in a clump of jack pine. Uh, these jack pine are about three years old. They would have germinated at the same time as the burn. So the burn would have happened uh, sometime during the summer months. And that season, the jack pine would have germinated and uh, started growing. So um, you can tell a tree roughly how old it is by counting the whorls or clusters of branches. Every time a bud uh, sets in the fall, it sets a terminal bud and lateral buds. And the next year, the terminal bud elongates. This one's starting to elongate and the lateral buds are going to start growing out. So it'll create a whirl of branches right here. Sometimes, it, uh, if it's a good growing season, it'll kick out some extra ones. So um, it would appear that this tree is one, two, three years old. Same, same age as the uh, fire. So here's a little pine seedling that uh, doesn't look as mature as some of the other ones around here. Most of the pine here germinated right after the fire, the same year as the fire. However, the seed does remain viable a couple years after that. And I think this is what happened here. This tree appears to have grown one year after germination. So it would have uh, germinated the year following the fire. And so even though the fire uh, burned through here and reset the clock, so to speak, and all the trees started growing again, um, you'll notice if you go into a mature stand that not all the trees are exactly the same age. There'll be some variation. And that's because the seed um, remains viable a couple years after the fire and uh, you're going to get continued germination. I'm always amazed at how jack pine will grow anywhere there's a little bit of soil. Every little crack in the rock is a chance for germination. So you might be asking yourself, hey Kev, where's the spruce? Um, you've shown me a lot of pine, but you also showed me some spruce cones. Where are the spruce? Well, there's a few spruce here uh, and these ones appear to have uh, germinated at the same time as the pine did right after the fire. But spruce seed remain viable uh, much longer after the fire, and so they'll continue to germinate uh, many years after the fire. Spruce don't mind being behind the pine. Uh, they have a slightly different strategy. They are more shade tolerant than the pine, so uh, as the pine grows up and gives these guys a little more shade, they're not gonna mind that. They're gonna keep growing more slowly, more steadily, and they're gonna live longer than the pine does on this site. So if you go into a mixed stand of pine and spruce, you'll often find, uh, if you take an age of both species, that the pine are uh, five or ten years older than the spruce. Um, but the spruce are going to live longer as the pine mature and die out. The spruce are going to ultimately live longer than the pine. And that's just their strategy. Get off to a slower start and live longer. Um, so two slightly different uh, strategies for two trees growing in the same fire 